Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun set of puzzles. Make each equation true by inserting parentheses. You're allowed to insert parentheses between any two characters. I'll read each equation. The first equation, 4 plus 8 times 5 minus 3 times 5 is equal to 45. The second equation, 3 times 10 minus 2 divided by 4 plus 4 is equal to 10. The third equation, 16 minus 3 times 4 plus 7 minus 1 squared is equal to 40. The fourth and final equation, 5 times 8 plus 8 divided by 6 minus 12 times 2 is equal to 24. I thank everyone who suggested these puzzles to me. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, Keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. There are three reasons I think these puzzles are excellent. One is that they help build number sense. This is a concept that was there when I was in school. You should know the different magnitudes of numbers and how numbers interact with each other. It's not just about doing calculations, but it's about understanding, say, if you get the bill at a restaurant, does it even make sense what they're charging you? Another reason these puzzles are nice is because they promote experimentation. Mathematics is not just about memorizing different formulas and plugging in the numbers. It's actually about getting numbers, getting different concepts, and seeing how they relate to each other. And sometimes that will involve experimentation where you try one thing, it doesn't work. You try another thing, it doesn't work. You try another thing, it doesn't work. Eventually, you will get to the correct answer, but there is a struggle to mathematics. These puzzles are also a good reminder about the order of operations, which could be remembered by the acronym PEMDAS, which refers to parentheses, exponents, multiplication division, and addition subtraction. If you have two operators of the same precedence, evaluate them from left to right. You could also remember this as BODMAS, where parentheses has the analog brackets and exponents has the analog orders, I've also heard it's known as BIDMAS, where orders has the analog indices. So however you remember it is fine. You don't always have to work in this exact order, but if you do work in this order, you will get the correct answer. So let's work on puzzle one. Let's just evaluate the expression as written. So eight times five is equal to 40, three times five is equal to 15. So we have 4 plus 40 minus 15, which equals 29. We need this equation to be equal to 45, so we are too low. We need to increase the value. So how do we do that? Well, one thing we can do is we have 4 plus 8 times 5, so let's just group the 4 and the 8 so we do that first. So now 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. 12 times 5 is equal to 60. Then we need to subtract 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have 60 minus 15, which is equal to 45. So we found the answer. Now let's move to puzzle 2. 3 times 10 minus 2 divided by 4 plus 4 is equal to 10. Let's just evaluate the expression as written. 3 times 10 is equal to 30. 2 divided by 4 is 0.5. So we have 30 minus 0.5 plus 4, which equals 33.5. This expression is too large. We need to decrease its value. So to decrease the value, one way is we can group the first expression, 3 times 10 minus 2. So we're grouping what we're going to be dividing by 4. Now 3 times 10 is equal to 30. We subtract 2 to get 28. 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7. Then we have 7 plus 4, which is equal to 11. So we are still slightly too large. We need to decrease the value of this expression. So what can we do here? Let's try another thing. Let's just group this 10 minus 2. This will decrease it ever so slightly. So 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6, and now 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So this is the correct answer. 
Now let's go to the third puzzle. We're going to have to start being creative. These are getting harder. So if we just evaluate this expression, what do we get? We get 16 minus 12 plus 7 minus 1, and that's equal to 10. So we're too small. We need to increase this value. So one experiment we can try is we can group this 16 minus 3. So 16 minus 3 is 13. We multiply by 4 to get 52. 52 plus 7 minus 1 squared. This will be 52 plus 7 minus 1, and that's equal to 58. So now we need to decrease the value of this expression. So after some experimentation, here's what you need to do. Remove the grouping between 16 minus 3, and then add a grouping between 7 minus 1. So now here's what the expression becomes. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6, then 6 squared is equal to 36. Then 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So we have 16 minus 12 plus 36, and that is equal to 40. So that is the correct answer to puzzle number 3. Now on to the final puzzle. Like the other problems, let's just evaluate this expression as written so we have a starting point. This will work out to be 40 plus 8 over 6 minus 24, which equals 17 and 1 third. So we need to increase the value, but we also need to get the value to be an integer. So there are many things wrong with this expression. I'm not going to go through all the different experiments you can run. I'm just going to explain what the solution is. So one thing we'll do is we'll change the denominator. We'll make it 6 minus 12 times 2. Now this is going to be a negative number. We don't want that. So now what we need to do is split the 1 and the 2 of the 12. So we apply parentheses here. So we have 6 minus 1 multiplied by 2 times 2. Finally, we will group 5 times 8 plus 8 in the numerator. So let's see how this all works out. 5 times 8 is 40. We add 8 to get 48. That's the numerator. Now what's the denominator? 2 times 2 is equal to 4. We multiply that by 1. That will still be 4. Then 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. So we end up with 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24. And that is the answer to this puzzle. How many did you solve? Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.